Hey everybody, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and we're gonna make something really cute tonight. I've already given a trial run tonight, so, I mean, today. So I'm gonna show y'all how to do it because I had this kind of swimming around in my mind and I decided that I was gonna share it with all of you. So if you're watching replay, I appreciate you watching and would love if you would be a part of my page. Hey Leslie, hey Lou and Lisa, hey Lenora, how are y'all? Hey Shaney. Hey Stephanie and Lou Ann, all my friends are here. I'm looking at this canvas, it's got some like glue or something on it. Oh, thank you Pamela. Yeah, y'all sprinkle. Hey Carla. Okay, so we're gonna make something really cute. Um, and this idea came from a laser design that I saw that I fell in love with. Hey Mary and Tina and Carol. Um, and it was a laser design that I saw and I just, it kind of just dawned, like I tell you all the time, stuff just kind of goes ding and dawns on me. Well, this was one of those moments. And I thought, you know, I can make that with Dollar Tree canvases and some popsicle sticks. And that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show y'all how what I'm gonna make. Yeah, it's raining in here, Delina. It was storming earlier. <clears throat> hey, Darlene and Patty. Okay, so you're gonna need, and you can do whatever size you want. I even found the, um, some eight by, I guess it's eight by 10. Um, you could do it with bigger or you could do it with smaller. So however you wanna do it, yes. It's an older shirt I used to have in my shop and I might get messy. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. I ate something really spicy before I came live, and I'm like, I can feel it in my throat. I came out here without my drink cup, and I was like, oh, and it's pouring down rain, so I wasn't going to go run back in the house and get soaked again. And um, so I'm drinking out of this little cup, which is a paintbrush holder cup from the Dollar Tree and some tap water. <laughs> I was desperate. I wasn't going to run back inside. Oh, thank you, Luann. <clears throat> thank you, Anna, for sprinkling and Judith. Hey. Okay, so you're gonna need two Dollar Tree canvases. This one, these are the six by eight canvases. Um, you're gonna need two, and I'm just gonna get them open up here while I'm saying hello. Hey, Elisa. Hey, Brenda. All my friends. Hey, everybody. So yeah, it's storming here. We need some rain, though. <clears throat> Uh-oh. It's not my ruler on the floor. I always not something on the floor. Every time, I don't care. Something's gonna go on the floor, just how it is. Hey, Brenda. Nancy. Okay, so I'm gonna. I'm not using the actual canvas. I'm gonna use the frame. Okay, so I'm just going to take my my little exacto blade, or you know, you can use whatever you like to use. Um, I use these all day, every day. <laughs> Uh, in my laser stuff, so <clears throat> when something doesn't pop through all the way, I have to sometimes take my razor blade and pop it out. So I use Exactos all day, every day. <clears throat> hey, Linda, where's the Cabana Boy? That's right. Oh, thank you. It's just something I got at the beach. You know, I'm I'm still a little girl. I like all that stuff. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> y'all, <laughs> I ate, we went to Zaxby's and I got the kicking chicken sandwich and that was probably not good because it felt like my throat's still burning. Even though it's not really hot and my husband said, that's not even hot. I'm like, it, it is to me. <laughs> okay, I'm getting this off. Hey, from Human, Ohio, Jonna. It's the South down here, honey. We humid all the time. It's, I don't care if it's the winter time. We're humid. We know what humid's all about down here. Okay, so you can save this for something else. We might end up using a piece of this for part of this. Hey, Deborah, welcome. Yes, Jennifer, I have allergies, <clears throat> but I got that spicy stuff and it, um, it's just in my throat and I left my water inside. But anyway, stormed, yeah, it's stormed here. It's just, 
is southern summer afternoon thunder thunderstorms. Hey, Patricia from Central Mississippi. That's where I'm from. Meridian is where I'm originally from. Okay, so I'm just going all the way around. Thank you, Sue. I'm getting there, guys. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Grace. Do you like my shirt? It's an, a one from my, my shop from a while ago. Um, I know, Lou, I hate the humidity, too. It's like you got your hair fixed and you go outside and it's like, whoop, it just melts. Hey, Bobby. She's from Mississippi, too. Okay. I'm trying to get it off. Trying to get it off. Trying to get it off. I'll just tear it. <laughs> Nothing else works. Just tear it. It's fine. Okay. So, put that to the side. I've got four of them over here now because, I've, like I said, I've already done this project today. And I love the way it turned out. And it was one of those projects where I kind of squealed and like, oh, it worked out. And um, I couldn't wait to show y'all. Because <clears throat> sometimes I know ahead of time what I'm going to do. You know, like a couple of days before or something I have it in my mind. Other times, I change my mind at the last minute. Sometimes I, um, I figure it out an hour before. So... People say, oh, why don't you tell us the supplies and all this kind of stuff? Because sometimes I don't even know myself what I'm going to make. Then other times, I just, um, hey, Nana, Nana Vicky. <laughs> yeah, it's no sense doing your hair, humidity, hair when the humidity's high. It's always high here, always. <coughs> In Mississippi, it's, it could be 95, but the humidity makes it feel like it's 105. Why don't they just say, if it feels like it, why don't they just say, then that's what it is. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand that. Let me get some pliers. I'm trying to get those little pieces out of the corners right there. It, it's bothering me. Even though you're not going to see it, I'm just still trying to get it out. Because it may make it sit wop-sided. Wop-sided. Is that a word? Hey, Lorraine. Hey, Belinda. I'm glad y'all are here. Okay, so I'm trying to pick out which one looks the best. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to show y'all what we're going to make. Are y'all ready for this? Dun, dun, dun. It's a little tobacco basket. Is it not so cute? Isn't it cute? It's got little handles on it. It's a little tobacco basket. See? That's what I did. Oh, I'm froze. Uh-oh, Jennifer says I'm froze. Okay, so that's what we're going to make. I've been kind of playing around with that today. And I'm going to show y'all what we're going to do. So you need two frames from the canvases and you're gonna need some of the craft sticks from the Dollar Tree and they're just, I, I call them tongue depressors. They're just the regular tongue depressor size. Um, you could do any size you want to and if you had a bigger frame, you could use the bigger craft sticks. Um, Patricia, the one is in Germantown and it's on Exeter Road. I'm planning on going there tomorrow. All right, so anyway, so you're going to need some of these, and you kind of have to go through them because some of them are kind of not straight or warped or whatever, so I kind of pick out the best ones, like that one's kind of weird, but anyway. So we're going to put one frame to the side because I'm not going to need it right now, and if you can't see for the comments, you can always swipe them so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to turn this one over over here so I can cheat and look at what I did. Okay, so... For, for this, we're going to do the ones going this way first, and then I'm going to show y'all how I did these, because obviously, they're not long enough, so you got to figure out a way to make them longer, and that's what I'm going to show you. Um, so, I used, turn over and see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I used six going this way, the long way, and if you can find a square frame, that would be wonderful, too, because that one looks... That one, see how, look how crooked that one is. Because, <laughs> um, you know, some ba most baskets are square. Uh, you know, you, of course, they come round in all kinds of different shapes and sizes, but one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I got six. So I've already done all the hard part for you because I had to sit here and strategically figure out 
where to put all these little sticks to make it look like a tobacco basket. Hot and humid in Virginia, yes. It's, it's hot. It's just steamy. Okay, so I kind of wanted the same amount of space because once you get it all together, see you have squares in here and you can see my squares are not all the same size, the holes. So I did the best I could, but it's really, um, it's kind of hard <coughs> to get them all exactly straight. So, all right, so if you can see how I have them lined up, I didn't start right on the edge. I started a little gap space and that gap over there is a little bigger. So I use six across the back, this the short way. And now, now here's the trick to it though. So I got them laid out just like I want them. So what I did was I took a pencil and I went and made a little mark beside the end of each stick so I knew exactly where to put it when I got ready to glue it down. Does that make sense? So when I was in a hurry with the glue on my fingers or on my, you know, on the thing and it was getting hard, I wouldn't be worried about where my placement was. And you're not gonna see the lines later on. So I just figured out that was my best bet. Okay, so now I can pick all my sticks up and I have all these little, you probably can't see them, I have all these little lines across here. What is tobacco basket? It's a, those big decorative baskets that they sell like Kirkland's and Hobby Lobby, they have them. Um, usually they're kind of rounded on the edges, but they use it to collect tobacco in. When they pick tobacco or they used to pick tobacco, they would drag them and they put the tobacco on this big square basket. It's about that tall and they would pull the tobacco out of the fields. That's what, it's, that's what it is. Kind of a, you know, farmhousey thing. Okay, so now that I have my marks, I'm gonna, okay, so I'm just gonna put glue, hot glue on each side and put my stick exactly down where my little marks are. And these sticks fit perfectly across this uh, eight by six frame. Hey, Sandy. Hey, Terry. Okay, so that's that's the first part we're gonna do. But now you see why I made the marks because it just, it leaves the guesswork out and all you have to do is lay it straight down and then just kind of hold it down. So no, this is six sticks, six sticks across. And then we're gonna go the other direction, but you know, they're not long enough. So we've got to make them longer to stretch that far. Frame is five by seven, eight by 10. It is a six by eight. Where is the paper? I guess I threw the paper away. It is, this is a six by eight. And they, and it fits these regular size tongue depressors is what I call them perfectly. Hey Nancy from Arkansas City, Kansas. So now I'm just basically gluing these down across here. Hey, D from Chesterfield, Virginia. Hey, Dolores. Y'all are so sweet. I'm so glad y'all hopped on. I really think you're gonna like this one tonight. Some people commented, oh, all your crafts are cute. I know, but some of them I don't get as excited about. Does that make sense? Oh, thank you, Terry. I know, I love this color. But I was scared I was gonna get paint on me because I made a mess with that other one. Cause I had to, I painted it black first and I did the white paint over it and kind of got some off. Hey Tracy and Candy, welcome, welcome. All right, so I'm trying to get all my glue, str glue st strings off. Now it's not perfect. I will say that, okay? So now see my staples are on the inside and it's not gonna matter cause we're gonna stack that other frame on top of it. So it's not gonna matter. All right, so that's what I have so far. They're just glued all the way across, just like that. They fit perfectly in there. See, it's not perfect. That's kind of bigger down here than up here. It's not perfect, but it's it's good enough for me. <laughs> Upstate in New York, Adirondack. In the Adirondacks, oh wow. Okay, so that's what we got so far. So now we gotta work on this part. Um, this is where it gets a little bit tricky, but it's not hard, I promise. Y'all can do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you through it, I promise. Okay, 
So, now, that one's, look at that one. It's like, mm -hmm. So I just kind of pick out some of the straighter ones. Okay, so here is my stick. So it won't go all the way across, okay? It, it stops right here. So what I did was I'm gonna cut off, where's my, my nippers? And I have people messaging me about these and they're not on Amazon anymore. But when they, find, when they do, I will let y'all know. But they're just Fiskars. There's some kind of, I don't know what they're actually called. Um, hey, Tracy. Okay. Yeah, you always wear whatever color you paint with. Okay. So, now i got to figure out, I'm going to cut the ends off of, we'll see how many. I think it's one, two, three, four. So, it's six across and four down for the six by eight. <coughs> Thank you, Amanda. Okay. So all I'm doing is just cutting that rounded end off. Y'all gotta be thinking about what color I should paint this one. Cause I did that one, I painted it black first. And then I put the white, I just painted it with a white chip brush and I put a little Vaseline here and there and got that look. But that was black and then I painted white on top. So this one, y'all got to think about what color I should paint this one. Should I do it like brown and then paint, um, paint, uh, like white over it or just leave it like watercolor, water paint it. Aviator snips. Cool. Okay. All right. So now I have four down. Y'all see that? So we're trying to make that hatch cross look. So here's the back. The back's not pretty. But so it's six across and it's four down. Um, so anyway, so now I'm going to space them out again and try to get my little squares square. So if you'll notice this end of my sticks go over into this, to this stick. So we're going to glue that down like that. Then we're going to cut some pieces to go here. Grew up off Kings and okay. So now, so I'm going to do the same thing with my pencil once I get them where I want them. Because, like I said, it's tricky to get them square. That's the tricky part. Okay, so I'm just going to take my pencil and I'm going to make little marks where they're supposed to be. So when you get ready to glue them down, you can just stick them right down and not have any guesswork about trying to move it around, at, you know, when you've got your glue going. So now, what we're going to do now is we're going to, I'm going to start over here, and I'm going to just go straight across and put little dots of glue on each one, and then right on the edge of that last one, because it's only going to go halfway. And then I know where my pencil marks are, and I'm just going to lay it down, and I'm going to hold it down for a second. Oh, hey, Bobby. You can comment. Don't be scared. We don't bite. Nobody bites. Okay. All right, so let me get, let this set up a second. And sometimes they don't want to... Since you're lifted here, it doesn't want to go all the way down. So I like to just sit there and hold it. Turquoise and light gray. Hey, Bill. I don't know. Are the comments not swiping away? Swipe, swipe to your right and see if that works. Lemon or a whitewash. That would be pretty. Okay. So, there's my first stick, okay? So, now I'm just going to keep going with my sticks that are cut off on the end. I'm going to put my glue down here and just make a dot across each one. And then I'll put it right on the edge of that one. And I got my pencil guides. Just like that. And now we're going to hold it down. Old rustic. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to just do the water wash on it. You know how we do the paint stain? Because that one took forever to dry. Turquoise on rims on the truck. Oh, Colin must be on. Somebody said, hey, Colin. Okay. So see, y'all can see up close, see how I got it barely on there. 
and then it goes all the way to there. <coughs> Uh, yeah, Facebook has changed a little bit, so I'm not sure how it looks on your end. I watched some of my friends, but um, a lot of times I don't have a lot of time to. I have to watch replays. Turquoise and white. Okay. That would be pretty. Be a pretty beachy tray. All right, last one. Then we're gonna make the extra pieces. Oop, get it where my pencil is. I'm trying to go all rogue right that on that one. It's been raining today too. It's been cloudy, but it started raining this evening and came a thunderstorm. I was kind of worried I was gonna get to go live because the lights kind of blinked a little bit. And I was like, oh no. Okay, so see how I got them? all the way to just there because that's as far as they will go and I cut off that end for a reason because now <clears throat> I'm going to cut off the end of this we're going to have to butt them together so that's why I cut them off straight so I'm going to cut off the end of this and we're going to the best we can we're going to butt them up like this so it goes all the way across to the front so I gotta see how long I need it to be. And then I'm gonna whack it off. Whack it off. Like that. Um, and then I'll take the rest of my stick. Now I just need um, four more or three more. There's an arrow at the bottom left. Okay, there's two. I think my throat's not on fire anymore. Okay. So I'm just making my little extensions for my sticks because they're not long enough. And I could have used the big craft sticks, but then they would have been too wide and I wouldn't have had a gap. I wouldn't have had the little gaps. They're not swiping for you either. That's weird. They're just working on stuff and I don't know. Um, I hope they get it all straight soon. Because <laughs> it's frustrating on our side too. Okay. So see, they're gonna go right here, across here. So let me show you the finished one, which is I barely halfway painted on the back. See how it looks? And then on the front, you can't tell because we put our seams on the back. So that's the front. So you don't see, it looks like one continuous piece all the way across. Okay. Y'all can do this, I promise. And you think $2 worth of canvases and then popsicle sticks. That's it. Three bucks, not even three dollars, because we're not even using all the sticks. And you probably have these. If you're like me, you probably have a little bit of everything Dollar Tree has. And I didn't make my marks, and I should have, so I could get it straight. I should have made my marks again, but I'm okay. Oh, Nancy. <laughs> yes, a six by eight canvas from Dollar Tree. It's not the other way. I don't know. You know, there was a time there I couldn't even flip my camera or nobody, none of the people could. And then it came back. So I don't know if maybe it's something they're working on and it's not swiping. Overview. Hmm, that's new. I've never heard of that, Marion. And sometimes you may have to come in here and hold it from the other side like this. But look how cute this is looking. It's looking so cute. Uh, Bobby, you don't have a much time to craft anymore? Jeez, I thought that's what you did was you sold your crafts. There's Joyce. She done found the snips. Look at Joyce go. Thank you, Joyce. She done found my snips. The canvas is six by eight, but you could do any size, but you know what the, the size and the number that I'm telling y'all is I've already figured it out for you. <laughs> so when you get ready to make yours or 10 of them or however many that you want to make, um, you already know. Okay. So now see the back where I made the extensions and they're the same as on the back of this stick. So when you flip it, you can't see it. 
How adorable is this? Now, you could leave it natural if you wanted to. That one's got a weird color, don't it? Um, you could totally leave it natural like this if you wanted to and <clears throat> paint it. You could just do one frame, but be sure and put your staples on the back side. You could just do one frame and do something with it like this, okay? But I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna, I got to go a little extra. Okay, so now we have our other frame. But I've got to make my handles. Look, see? You don't have to put handles if you don't want to. See what I did? I sandwiched it inside there. Woo -woo, had to be all extra and something, something and extra fancy. Okay, so what I did was I took some of this rope from the Dollar Tree. I gotta get this tape off of here. I don't know if this will cut there. Oh yeah, that cuts it good. Okay, so I just unraveled it because it's, it's gonna be too thick if I try to use this whole piece of rope. So I just unraveled it and took one strand and made my handles. And if you have some little leather strips or some kind of, you know, be creative. Find something else that you can make your handles with. You could braid some yarn or something and make some cool handles. Um, so I'm just going to cut that piece off right there. And that's going to be both of my handles. <clears throat> now, we got to measure again. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. So I told y'all this is six by eight. We got to have our pencil. Because I, like I said, I've already figured all this out for you. So all you got to do is watch and you'll know exactly how to do yours. Okay. So it's six across. So I'm going to put a dot where the three is. But then I'm going to go one inch out and one inch out. So I'm going to put a mark at the two and at the four. So that I know exactly where I want to put my pieces of rope for my handle. So they'll be centered and they'll look right. <laughs> can't have, we can't have it all wonky. Let me put it down here and do this. That'd be better. So two, you don't have to put one at three, but I just found the center and then I went an inch out. Yes, these will look great come fall and Christmas. Okay, so see, I just put my little pencil marks right here and right there. Well, right, it's backwards when I look at the camera. Okay, so there's my pencil marks. Here's my, so I'll, I mean, I just kind of laid it down and kind of see how big I want to make them. Like, you know, that looks in proportion to your little basket. Like that. And then I'm going to cut it off. We got to pick a name, y'all. We haven't picked a name yet. Look, I did I did pretty dang good, y'all. I told y'all I was an eyeballer. Look at that. Look. I just cut that piece off. Didn't measure anything. Look at that. There. And I, then I just cut it. And they're almost the same size. Okay. Let's see. Let me look away. Look away on back here. Shirley Hudson. She said turquoise. <laughs> Shirley Hudson, I'm going to send you some stickers. Look at these stickers, guys. Y'all know I got them um, in Destin at the Dollar Tree, and I got some stickers. So, I'm, I'll send you a pack of these stickers. There's 68 stickers on here, and they're so cute. Look at the trucks. So, message my page, and I'll send you some happy mail. i got to get back to where I was. Okay. So let me write you down. Okay. All right. What did I make this from? It's a Dollar Tree canvas frame and popsicle sticks. And we made this. Cute. So you'll have to go back and watch the replay so you can see how I did it. And then, um, now, so here's the part. You got to glue your handles on first. So I just take my my rope, because you know it's round, and I just kind of flatten it out a little bit, like that, because we want it to sit as flat in there as we can, because we don't want it to be, have a bulk space in there. So I'm just kind of spreading out the little fibers and stuff, and getting it kind of flat. So see, you got it flat, and then I'm gonna put my, a wad of hot glue, find my little tool, and then I'm just gonna hold it down. Is there y'all still want these or looking for these? Cause I have these too. Your Dollar Tree. I know. I just happened up on those. I, I haven't seen the stickers anywhere else. Thank you, Marla. Okay. So now, so I got it as flat as I could get it. 
right there. So we're gonna do the same thing with the other side. I'm just gonna kind of unravel it so it won't be round. It'll be kind of flat. Because when we sandwich the other one on top, I don't want it to be a big bulky gap. Try to get it as flush as I can get it. There we go. You ordered the farm set and the scissors. Ah, yay. I think, Renee, I think I packed you today. I'm not sure if I did or not. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I think I did. I know I saw your name. I printed all the invoices off, but that could be it. I got most of them done today. The rest of them will be tomorrow. Okay, so see, I tried to get it as flat as I could get it and spread it out to where I just have, you know, so it will sit down on it. Oh, Terry, I wish all y'all could just come over here and craft. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna measure and find my two inch. Oh, I already did that. I did that already. <laughs> oh yeah, Tammy, you'll have to get her to FaceTime you while she's in uh, Dollar Tree and say, yeah, I need that and I need that and I need that and I need that. <laughs> Thank you, Tammy. Okay, same thing. I'm just going to spread out my little uh, end of my rope, piece of rope, and kind of make it like a broom, I guess. Make it kind of flat. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Hold it down. How would you use the stickers? Neat ideas. Um, you could put them the little trucks and make little Christmas ornaments or anything like that. It would be so cute. Make little jingle blocks, glue them together, put you some little paint it, put you a little truck on there. It'd be adorable. Something like that. Refrigerator magnets. Look in the makeup apartment. Oh, the little things. The scissors. Becky, they're not. The scissors sold out last night, and but I will be cutting more. I, I knew that a lot of you wanted them, and I cut... A good many. I cut like 70 pair. And so I was like, well, we'll see how it goes. And I will run them again. Yes, yeah, a big crafting retreat. That's what we need. Who's putting angry faces? Somebody's putting mad faces. Don't be mad. Be glad. Be happy. Okay. We're happy here. All right. So now I've got my handles on. And in case you missed the first part, here's the back. Popsicle stick. Cut it off. Made it where I could butt that one up. And we made a little extra piece on my little frame. All right. So now we're going to take the second Dollar Tree canvas frame. And it's got the staples in it. So we're going to make sure the staples go down. Okay. And you are going to have a gap. But there's not a whole lot you can do about it. Just because we got that bulk here. They're staples, but this way the staples are all hidden. Of course, the back's not real attractive, but nobody's going to see that. Oh, Patsy, I got a good tan. I know, but it fades quickly, and I have not been out in the sun since we left the beach. <clears throat> okay, here's the fun part, because you got to move fast. So this stays, doesn't start setting up. So I'm just going to be real generous and put it all the way around and lickety split real quick. We're going to get this lined up the way I want it. And I'm just gonna lay down on it <laughs> and hold it there. Yes, Lou Ann, I will cut more flip flops. And there might be, there's not flip flops there. <sighs> oh, everybody's y'all are drowning out the angry faces. Uh, it's okay. It'll be okay. Maybe they'll get happy. <laughs> Craft a little. It'll make you happy. It keeps the crazy and the angry away. <laughs> yes, Terry, my scissors. Are you going? What color are you going to paint on? So those are the ones I have that y'all always ask about. And here's the pair that uh, the back's not finished. <laughs> I never finished the back. Um. But here's the pair that um, that y'all ordered. And it, it will have little lines right here to show you exactly where to lay that piece to put you some uh, super glue in there and just glue it down. 
This, the silver is Michael's uh, Craftsmart, and it's just silver. This is the regular Craftsmart brand. And this, of course, is Anita's Light Turquoise, if y'all want to know. And then I painted a little spot there. It, com it comes scored for you, so you paint a little circle. Those cracks add character. All right, that don't, oops, that don't feel like it's stuck down, so I'm going to... And this one has a big gap in it, but it's okay. I'm not worried about the, the gap because Tabasco baskets are drugged through the field and everything else. Um, Laura, how do you get to my shop? The easiest way I can tell you is to go to the turquoisevalentine.com. And in the corner up there, that's my blog. And in the corner up there, it says my shop or shop or something like that. And um, it'll take you to it. You thought they were real? No, no, they're wood. They were like a brown wood color. I bought them like at a vendor market for just a few bucks. And they were wood brown. And I just brought them home and painted them. And everybody always asked about them. So I had to create a file to cut them. Because everybody wanted them. All right. Okay, that's better. I'm just making sure it's secure. So yes, it's not pretty. I mean, you can see the glue, but once we get it painted and done whatever we're going to do to it, um, it's going to be fine. I'm getting rid of the glue strings. But don't heat it up too much because you'll make it all fall apart because it's hot glue. But I got glue strings galore. Somebody told me this trick and it's awesome. Get rid of your glue strings. Okay. <clears throat> okay so there it is how stinking cute you could leave it natural and it would be really cute so now we got to figure out what color to paint it i think i'm gonna so i painted this one black and then i took a chip brush and i did the white all over it i put a little vaseline here and there like here where you can see and it you know i scraped i scraped it i sanded it i did all kinds of stuff to it to make it look like this except the back <laughs> I was in a hurry. <laughs> um, but how cute would this be on your tiered tray, leaned up in your tray or by your tray and have some little greenery or something in it? And we're going to jazz this one up. So um, I think I love tobacco baskets too. So I have, I have a big one on my wall in my living room and then I have smaller ones on each side. And everybody always says, where'd you get those? I got them at Kirkland's years ago and I've had them forever. Yeah, you could probably use wood glue that dries clear. It's just going to take a lot longer than to set up. And you're sitting there holding it. You probably have to clamp it together. Still got glue strings. Chicken, 10, 15. What? You forgot your chicken. <laughs> what is Nancy talking about? Chicken. I know everybody's going to have scissors. I can't wait to see what all colors y'all paint your scissors. It's just so stinking cool. Uh, they are flip-flops in the shop. So, yes, whoever was wanting the flip-flops. Um, turquoise and white. Okay. All right, y'all going to talk me into this turquoise and white, but I don't have turquoise right here. I got to get it. Hold on. Uh, take my, um, my uh, heat gun out at the same time. But the only thing about the turquoise is not going to be that big of a, um, hold on, I'm picking a color, I'm picking a color. Um, it's not going to be that big of a contrast, but we'll see. So I just grabbed a whole bunch of colors. Do y'all want me to go dark? Like I could go like a darker turquoise, like that. Almost like a peacock picture, or y'all want me to do this? That's my favorite. Light turquoise, y'all can't see that. By Anita's. These are like a darker red. Somebody said red. Can't wait to see everybody's baskets in the group page. <clears throat> okay. So I may just, um, I don't know, because this isn't going to be a big contrast with the white. Oh, Waverly chalk paint. Ugh. What size canvases? They are um, six by eight. <laughs> I had to think about it a second. 
I'm throwing stuff. I know I tripped over my cord for my heat gun and it went flying. It's got to go on the, it's got to go on the uh, floor. Something has to go on the floor. So the, the light color, it's just not going to be that big of a contrast with the white, but it'll be okay. All right, we're going to go with it, but I think I'm going to, just so it will dry a little faster, I think I'm going to wash it, like do a wash. And let's just, for giggles, I'm going to add a dot of this dark color. This is called Deep Blue Sea by Anita's. And we'll put a dot of it in there. And let's just see what happens. So, I got those two colors. Aren't they pretty? Yes, they're, they, are, they are canvas frames. Here's the part that we cut off. And then popsicle sticks. Okay, so I'm gonna get me some water. Cause it like took forever for this to dry earlier. So I'm gonna add a little water to it and mix my colors. You can't even really tell I put dark in it. <laughs> so I know y'all be happy about that. Can't even tell. <laughs> I did add some dark, but you can't even tell. I'm just mixing a little water in there. It's not even, it's kind of wanting to separate. It's not even wanting to mix. The dark, it's like pieces of it in there. I will put the scissors back um, in the shop. I will cut some more and we, I will put some back, I promise. Well, I'm not gonna leave y'all scissorless. <laughs> y'all, today, I'm gonna tell y'all a funny. When I was over here at the table and these scissors were laying here and I come over here to this table today to do something. Y'all know I want, I, I picked those up to try to use them and realize what I was doing. <laughs> I was like, I'm working too hard. <laughs> I actually went to pick them up and I went, oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind. Losing my mind. Teresa, I am in Mississippi. Mississippi State won the College World Series last night. Whoop, whoop, whoop. They, um, they've been 11 or 12 times in the history of the College World Series, and this is the first time they had ever won it, and I was so tickled for them. Like I said, they've been to Omaha so many times and never have brought home the trophy, and they won it last night. Look how pretty. I'm kind of liking just leaving it turquoise, y'all. Y'all got me turned on to this now. I kind of like it. It's gonna look good propped up back here, isn't it? I gotta take all my fourth down. And y'all know I usually do the, the something something jar that's over here with the names in it. Y'all know this month's been crazy for me with a wedding and vacation and all that. And I promise I'm gonna go back and pick all the names from the lives. And I will, we will do that Monday night. Hell State, that's right, Elizabeth. Isn't that so awesome for those boys? Oh my gosh. I hate it for Vandy, but, and I really hate it for North Carolina because they had to forfeit out because of COVID. Some of their players had COVID. And um, I hated it for them because they, they, you know, they worked that hard to get that far and then they had some people that were sick. Now, when you get to this part, you gotta be real careful with your handle and kind of paint around it. And that's tricky too, not to get it on your handle, but there's really no way of going around, um, like putting the handle on last because we sandwiched it in between those two. So there's really no way of doing it, you know, the handle last. Trust me, I sat here and thought about it a while. <laughs> I was like, well, we're just kinda, I'm gonna have to be careful painting it. You know, I get paint on everything. Me included. So I don't know how many, um, how many of y'all watch TikTok, but I, I have a TikTok account. It's the Turquoise Valentine, of course. I made a TikTok today and I'll have to show y'all what I did. You remember um, we did the other night, we did the crackle with the crackle medium on that, um, that canvas with the pinwheel. Um, I did the crackle 
with glue from the Dollar Tree and put a TikTok up with it on there. Y'all, this is so pretty. And so if you have that, go check me out on TikTok. TikTok's so much fun. I learned so much stuff on TikTok. Yeah, you could put wood beads on the handle. You sure could. And you know what? I should have thought about that, but I didn't. But thank you for that suggestion because I'm sure I'm going to be making a few more of these. Because now that I moved out of that bedroom in the house, I'm making that into a spare bedroom. And I've got to decorate it all up. So I'm sure the a couple of these may be hanging somewhere or sitting somewhere. Um... Yes, you could paint it before you put it together, and I almost did that, but um, that would just be so tedious because, you know, I just, I don't know. I just kind of thought this would be a little easier, but you can definitely try that, but I didn't have any problem. I just wiped it off if I got some on there. I'm painting the back for y'all because, you know, I don't hardly ever do the back of a lot of stuff. Thank y'all for sprinkling and spreading the love around. There might be somebody in the world that needs to see a fun, bright, cheery craft and make their day. You never know. Yes, is that colors my shirt. It's the same color as everything that's back here. Exact same color. Of course, everything's got to be turquoise. Me and Chase saw it. Um... Oh, Linda, you're from Horn Lake. Mississippi, you're not too far from me. You're right down the road. Right down the road. Um, Chase and I went somewhere yesterday. Walmart. And I think it was. And there was this blue car in the parking lot. And when I tell y'all it was... It was... It wasn't that dark turquoise, but it was turquoise. It was like... I don't know. It was blue. Aqua blue. And I told him, I said, I'm going to get a car that color. And he just gave me the evil eye like, Mama, you are not... I said, yeah, I am. I'm going to put my logo on the back window. I've got some splatters from the other side. So you got to be careful when you paint this because then it goes on to that side. And you can, i got some globs of paint. What color, Linda? This is um, Light Turquoise by Anita's. This is my favorite color. Um, there's one, Apple Barrel's got one that's called Key West. It's real close to it. Distress it with brown. So I'm gonna just kind of hit it a little bit because I don't want my hot glue to come get hot and fall apart. You know, this happened to me before. Crocheting turquoise coffee mug mats. Oh, like little, um, like a little coaster type thing. That's cool. Water and spread the love. Thank you. <laughs> Y'all just leave it to me. I'm just, just, y'all, I'm surprised I hadn't seen a comment. You missed a spot? You missed a spot? You missed some? Durr. It's a little too much paint on there. <laughs> I missed a whole end. Well, now I ain't got all my paint off here. Okay. Thank you, Linda. I did. I missed this. <laughs> y'all know y'all do it too. You go, oh my, I missed the whole side. Look how, that is so stinking pretty. Yeah, Key West color is really pretty. It's very, very, very close to this. So if you can't get the Anita's, get the Key West by Apple Barrel. It's about the same thing. So I'm not, look, y'all look. I hope I'm not the only one that looks like this. I'll wash my hands and take a shower, and then I'll be doing something in the mirror, and I'll have some paint right here, and I'm like, how did I miss that? Yes, Carl, I need to use my Cricut and make a logo for my car. My turquoise car? No. I told him, he's a teenager, so of course he looked at me like I had three eyeballs, and was like, Mama, you are not. little hearts, a little hearts on the hubcaps on the wheels and spin around tail and my hearts and my two 
Mark don't know his car. Watch me. <coughs> he ought to know better <coughs> to tell me, no, you're not. Because <coughs> I'll turn around and be like, I'm like a believer out of you. I'm going to get me a... Oh, Jenny went and watched the pumpkin. It does look beachy. Wouldn't that be cute with some seashells? That'll make me want to go back to the beach. Okay, it's about dry. Oh, i got to get this off. Okay. So, turquoise cars. Yes, Re is it Rexanne? I am going to have more. I will be cutting more. Here we go, missing pups everywhere. They're so scared of them. Oh, they're talking about fireworks. Yes, everybody's getting upset because it scares their dogs, and I hate that. I'm so glad mine aren't scared, but I hate it for people that are. Okay, so there it is, y'all. How You would never think that, that we just made this out of popsicle sticks and a frame from a canvas. So you want me to leave it like this? Or should I maybe put a little white on it? Uh, I better not throw that away. Well, I got another plate. So, while I'm waiting for y'all to answer me about what else to do to it, here's the little pumpkin that I did, and I used the crackle, but I didn't use the crackle medium. I used the school glue from Dollar Tree, the Jot um, white glue, like Elmer's glue, because we, we talked about it the other night, um, and if you'll go watch that on TikTok, um, it, see how crackle it, and pretty it crackled? And I didn't really paint that much of a coat, but I did what they, what somebody on here told me, I did the paint, the base coat, and then I put the school glue, I painted it on, and I dried it a little bit until it started looking like it was almost dry, and then I painted my white on, and then I did it with my heat gun, and in the video, you can just see it, that crackling, like, starts right before your eyes. It's, it's, I mean, I know y'all can't see it up close because it's white, you can kind of see it there, but it's crackled everywhere. Okay, so light torch. So should I, what else should I do to it? It kind of looks green in the picture. Uh, somebody said white and turquoise. Pumpkin is precious. So it's just a little one minute video. That's all TikTok is. Um, and, um, Nobody's telling me what to do. A VW and put headlights on the on the eyelash on the headlights. Well, you know, that's what Lindy from Taterbuggin, that's my friend. If y'all don't follow her, you need to go follow Lindy at Taterbuggin. She has a, a Volkswagen and she has eyelashes on hers. That's why her last name's Tate and she goes, and she has a bug, so it's Taterbuggin. That's where that came from. I love doing crackle on things. Okay, so where's the pumpkin from? It's just a wood cut out from probably last year that I cut out pumpkins last year. But you know, I've got pumpkins. I worked on something all day yesterday that's coming. I had to cut it and paint it while I was cutting stuff. And, um, um, what was I going to say? And, um, I had to cut, I had to paint it and get it all ready and took pictures of it yesterday. And somebody said, dry brush a little white. That's what I was thinking too. Just a little bit. And somebody said, brown. I can do brown. I don't know, brown or white. I'm drinking out of my my paint. It's not been used, so don't panic. I left my cup inside, and it's uh, paint dry, glue dry, white paint dry. Yes, Amy, it is, but on the school glue, I didn't let it dry all the way. Somebody told me not to let it dry totally. I let it dry till it was almost dry. And then I put the I put the top coat on, and then I put my heat gun on it, and it went. Like the video, you can just see it goes, and it crackles. It's so cool. Okay, I think I'm gonna do. Well, I'm worried about doing the brown because I'm gonna have to wipe it off and getting in all those little cracks all the way around. Um, yeah, try the school glue and see if that works. So I think I'm just gonna do some. Brush some white on. Yes, fall stuff. So, I'm debating, debating, if I want to release uh, one of the one of the Christmas things that I did this past Christmas. 
um, if y'all were with me then, like one of the Christmas designs, I was debating whether I should release like one of those this month since it's Chris like Christmas in July. So y'all had to let me know. Oh, Mod Podge, Vicky, that works. That's cool. So I think somebody said that the other night, other night too. So I just barely got some on there and I'm just kind of tapping a lot off. That way you can add a little, if you don't like it, you can go add a little more. So these tobacco farmers were fancy. They had a turquoise basket. <laughs> but it looks beachy, doesn't it? People are like, it's a, purple, it's a turquoise um, tobacco basket. Got to be careful of that handle. See how pretty it's looking? And get close enough to the handles. It's just a raining outside. We need some rain though. Our grass is crying out for it. Okay. See, there's the, I haven't done the inside yet. You order, oh, I want to get some diamond dust too, Wendy. I've been seeing the diamond dust and I haven't ever worked with diamond dust, but they say it's beautiful in person. Release it now. <laughs> um, ask what kind of wood do you use and how big of pieces do you use? Um, well, I have a big laser and it'll cut 36 by 36. I don't use that big of wood because that's a lot to handle in one piece. Um, I use quarter inch birch plywood. That's what I use. I think I've only released one thing that was an eighth inch and that was those little love letters. They were eighth inch. Cause they were T90 little. So I'm just kind of going in here and I can already see some seashells in here. It's be so pretty. So the stuff I had to fix it with, I don't know how it's gonna look with it now. <laughs> Since we went with this turquoise color. Just kind of getting all messy with it. Getting messy with it. Not jiggy with it. I'm getting messy with it. Let's get it all in there. Okay. See the back? I finished the back, y'all. Aren't you proud? Yay! Isn't it pretty? Look how pretty. So see, you got to get all up in all these little cracks and crannies and it's, it's not, it's not the easiest thing in the world. That's why I was kind of worried about like doing like a baby wipe with the brown. I was worried about getting in all those little crevices. And so release it. What do y'all want me to release? I don't know if y'all remember what all I had. I had the Santa tear tray set. I had the, the standing gnome with the lights on his hat. Um, there's a bunch of stuff. I had the 20, the COVID ornaments, all that stuff. Um, so I was trying to think if I should. Oh, y'all look what I did again. Again, 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 again. Did it? Again. <laughs> and my paint's already, my brush is already in the water, but I'm going to dry it off. Yes, I get my stuff at Lowe's. I know, Home Depot, sorry. Oh, now I got water dripping out. Just enough to do this end over here that I've forgotten twice. It's real life, folks, real life. Okay. I know, I love this little basket, but see, I mean, you could either, that's what I was gonna show y'all. We could do it a couple of ways. Um, you could put feet on it and make a little standing tray, or you could leave it just like it is. You could do this in a bigger canvas. You could do it in, they have the, is it four, three by five canvas? They have smaller canvases somewhere. I don't know what I did with them. Yeah, diamond dust is like a real fine, 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 fine glitter. Um, and it's white, I guess. 
Oops, again. I did. Y'all see me? I did that. A poor little Ian has missed it twice. Okay. I gotta get that off of me. Yeah, I had a, Diana had a Christmas gnome, and he stands up, and he says, Merry Christmas, and he's holding a little sign, and he's got little Christmas lights across his hat. I loved him. Um, I had a standing snowman. It was a bunch of stuff. I just can't, I can't remember. Okay, so there's our little basket. Doesn't look like it was made out of Dollar Tree canvases and popsicle sticks at all. So here's the white one. Cute, y'all. How, how cute would this be, like, hanging on a wall and, like, put a little saying in it or some greenery or something? That is so stinking cute. Okay. So, what I was going to do with this, look, this is the flowers I had picked out, but I was thinking I was going to paint it some neutral color. <laughs> That's not going to go good. <laughs> oh, man, y'all cracking me up. Y'all talked me into doing a different color these at Michael's, I think. And I just love these little baby sunflowers. I think they're so stinking adorable. But that still would look cute, wouldn't it? Uh-oh. I got greenery flying. Let me see if I can do something to this. Where's my wire cutters? Yes. <clears throat> I know. I love it, too. So, let me see if I can do something with this. I was going to kind of See if I can't get them over here in the corner, maybe. Oh, thank you, Jean. Y'all are so sweet. Y'all, if I wasn't creative, I think I would explode. I really do. I think I would just bust if I couldn't be creative. I think I would just, mm -mm. I couldn't do it. if we can make something really pretty. This is going to be all summery, but it's blue. Uh, I went, I did get, I got these at, um, at the Dollar Tree today. Isn't that cute? They were putting out the, um, the, uh, the fall stuff, the fall flowers. Um, but I want some of those balls. Have y'all seen those puff balls that they have at the Dollar Tree that they're starting to put out? And mine didn't have them. Now I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna get all this in here. I don't really wanna glue it in there, but I may have to. Look at these cool things. These came from uh, Dollar General. Look how cool they are. I really don't wanna glue them in there. But I guess I could glue it in there and I'd just make another one, right? Okay. So let's do this. I vote for snowman and the gnome. <laughs> Mary's like, here's my vote. <laughs> Y'all are funny. Uh, what else did I have? I had the, the, the Santa Claus coming down the chimney thing. And then I had the snowman and the, and the gnome ornaments. What else was it? It's actually very fine glass. I think somebody did tell me that, that it's like real ground up uh, stuff, zip tie. Oh, Rita, where were you about five seconds ago? Where's Rita at? Where's my zip ties? Rita, Rita, Rita. Yes, yeah, Sandy. There we go, y'all. See, I need y'all. Need, I need y'all to help me. And we all need each other, right? Okay. Look at there. Well, I'm going to fix them. But don't that yellow and that blue look so pretty? Ugh. Coco Mug set. Yes, that was, um, was that in the winter? Was that at Christmas? But yeah, the Coco set. I had the winter with the little ice skates and the sled and something else. Something else. Trying to think. Nativity. There you go, Tammy. Thank you. All right, let's see if I can. One of them's glued. And then I have to hide the zip tie. Dun, dun. 
Nativity. Yes, Lori, somebody, I saw where somebody was working with it and they said it would get in your fingers. Kind of like fiberglass almost, I guess. My zip tie's gonna show y'all. Let's see. I'm gonna fix it where it's not. Try to. To get them all in here. But I got something we can fix it with. We'll wrangle these things in here. It's not wanting to do what I want it to do. Come on. Work with me. Okay. Y'all are so smart. I want to pull too much, though. I don't want to pop my... Pop my... Things off. Okay, I'm trying to hide the... I'm hiding the, um... The zip tie. <laughs> with the leaves. Maybe I need to put a couple of these down here. And hide the zip tie. I glue them on. Painted bunch of biscuits yellow to make a sunflower. Ooh, yeah. I saw somebody in the group made one that was that was red, white, and blue. And I was looking at that a minute ago. I was like, oh my gosh. So I'm just hot gluing these in here. These are really cool. They're like almost like a clover. I'm just kind of pulling them off. And gluing them down in here. But that saved me a lot of hot gluing. One more. Yes, we're a team, Kim. That's right. We are a team. Every We all need each other. We're all better together. <clears throat> Y'all, look how stinking adorable this is. Look how stinking cute it is. They'll stay. I need to... I'm going to glue this one down to where... It kind of faces outward. Yes, finely ground glass. Is it expensive? Is the diamond dust expensive? Don't you get like a little bitty jar of it or something? I just seen some people use it. Ooh. Well, knowing me, I'll get it in my fingers. Look how stinking cute. Oh, thank you, Tammy. Put a small bow. I didn't bring anything for a bow. I was going to the canvas that we, I can't find my scissors. These won't cut. It don't work. I tried it today. It don't work. I can't find my scissors, really. Not even funny. Here's an old pair I'll use, but I don't like using them. So I think, I wonder if this, yeah, it'll tear. Look at here. That works out better. I'm just kind of winging it now, guys. Cut your, if you're not careful. I'm gonna have to find the, the dust. Let's see. I glued that down and now I wish I hadn't. Or maybe I can go this way. Okay. Yeah, this stuff tears easy. Let's let's pick somebody. Oh yeah, put it in a Dollar Tree salt shaker. That's right. You won't even have to touch it. Nina Satterwhite Southworth. I'm loving that little tray and basket. Nina. Nina Satter. That's a mouthful, Nina. Just message me and I will send you. Some of these, um, these stickers, you'll get some stickers. So message my page, you'll get some happy mail. Okay. Fabric flowers would look cute. Yes, the little flowers that we made would look cute. I'm just, I'm kind of winging it now. That's my zip tie back there that won't lay flat. Okay. So I just tore the canvas. This is the canvas that came on it. So we're not wasting anything. Okay. I'm kind of winging it and kind of not. Uh, Cause I kind of thought maybe I might stamp, but I wasn't planning on stamping on the canvas. I was actually gonna stamp on 
one of these. And I now I just totally changed my mind and I want to use this canvas. I'm using the brown side. If you can see it, that's the white side. That's the white side. And then the, you know, the inside. I'm using that inside. So let's do, I got my, my little stampies that y'all all like. They have some at Hobby Lobby that are very, very, um, had to think about this that are very similar to these. I've had these for a very long time. And I, they either came from Hobby Lobby or Michaels. But Hobby Lobby has, that's a B. Hobby Lobby has them. And this is my little block. The little acrylic block that it sticks to. But I'm gonna have to do H-E-L and then do L-O because I don't have two L's. So I've got H-E-L. <laughs> And then I'm going to do, maybe it's going to fit. Yes. I'm going to do hello. And just kind of put my little, little bitty stamp pads. I got these at Hobby Lobby. But they have them at Joann's and Michael's too. See, there's my ink on it. And I'm just going to press really hard and see if it works. Yes. So there's part of it. Looks all vintage like. So I'm going to leave the L on there and I'll put these guys over here and I'll clean them in a minute. Put my O. And stamp, stamp, stamp again. You just order stamps from uh, Amazon. I love my stamps and I love to stamp on fabric more than anything else. Okay. Ta da! Isn't that cute? So I'm going to kind of, oh, wait till y'all see this. It's so stinking cute. Kind of thinking I might make it a little bit smaller. I probably shouldn't have done that. Lordy be. gonna make it a little smaller so it won't cover up so much of my of my word I mean my basket got really close that time kind of messed it up y'all how do I clean my sense wipe them with baby wipes or like alcohol wipes y'all I gotta do that again I can't do that I messed it up I'm doing it again because I don't like it <laughs> That tore a whole lot easy, easier than trying to tear a little piece of it. Okay, I'm starting over, starting over. Redo, plot twist. Okay, here we go. Let me do my L and my O, and then I'll come back and do my, whoop, I took the L off, my H. Yeah, somebody said you just wipe them off with alcohol, or I use baby wipes too. But every once in a while, I have to put them in the sink and wash them because they won't stick to my block anymore. But they're like silicone, and they just kind of stick to this acrylic block. And they're, it's wonderful. See how they just stick to it? And it has, has little lines where you can get them straight. See the little grid lines in it? Thank you for sprinkling. The stamps, I got them from Hobby Lobby like a long time ago. Um, or either Michael's. I can't remember, but... Um, they have them at Hobby Lobby, and they're real similar to these. Very, very, just like, they're like, they look like type, like typing, like a typewriter. Uh-oh. Let me do my H all by itself. But you can just do this, but it is a little harder. I just got to line it back up and get it on there. And I kind of messed it up again, but y'all get the gist of it cute the little outline around my H showed up see see that little outline and y'all might not can see it but it's okay this package of popsicle sticks oh lord the table's a hot mess okay it just says craft sticks 
and there's 60 in there. But they're, they are like tongue depressor size. If that helps you. Okay. So now, I'm going to put my little hello in here. And I'm just going to barely tack it down because I'm probably going to go back and do it over again. Because my H, I jacked it up. So I'm just going to kind of tack it in there. Look at how cute it is. Isn't that adorable? Isn't it cute? So stinking cute. Very cute. Like I said, here's the first one. So who would ever know that this was a Dollar Tree canvas? And now it looks like this. Two Dollar Tree canvases and craft sticks. And now you have this. So, so cute. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Amy. Look how stinking cute. Okay, so I showed y'all that. So now, the other option you can do with this is you can, I know y'all have these, probably have these little square blocks from Dollar Tree. You could glue feet on the bottom and make it a tray. Or, uh, y'all got so much stuff on this table. Where are my, oh, or you could use um, the little, any of these little feet looking things from Hobby Lobby and glue them on the corners and make a tray like that. And then you'd have a cute little tray to sit on your bathroom counter or your guest bathroom, put some little soaps or something in it. Um, or you could, like I said, you could hang it on the wall. You could set it on your tiered tray just like this. There's so many options you can do, and this costs like $3, guys, $3. But, for the sake of it, I brought some little stuff out here so I can show y'all how you can style it up. So, like, there's my little pillow that we made one night out of the little fabric and the, made us a little flag. I just stole it off my tear tray. So, you could put that in there. You could put you a little, the spindle looks the same color, doesn't it? Remember the little bow I made the other night that I didn't use? Stick it over here. I mean, there's just so much you can do. And with something so simple as this, something so, so simple. Can you move the staples before you? You can, um, Karen, it's, it's hard to get the staples out. But sometimes the staples are over the corner and it holds the pieces together. So I'm kind of scared to take them apart because they'll just fall apart. But it's a lot, it's a hard to get all the staples out. Um, you could stick some greenery somewhere, you know, and you could have you a little tray sitting on your end table. I don't have a lot of stuff out here to stage with. Um, but you could put a candle, put something like that in it. How stinking adorable is that? So cute. Easy. Just This is like a little green ball. I don't even know where I got it from that was out here. But so, so, so cute. Yeah, this needs a B. It does need a B. Um, but that's so cute. So you could do it that way. You could put feet on it, like I said, and make a little, make it a little riser tray. But then you kind of lose this effect in the bottom, you know, if you put a lot of stuff in it. But you don't even have to put a lot of stuff in it. You could just put, get you a little spindle, put it in there. It's so cute. There's so much you can do. Um, it's a six by eight canvas is what I used. And if you go back and watch um, the, the beginning, these sticks from Dollar Tree, just like tongue depressor size, they fit perfectly up and down this way, okay? And then when you do this, the crossways part, like that, they only go that far. So I cut it off straight and then made another piece and butted them up together. So then on the front, it looks like a tobacco basket. You don't see it on the other side. You just see that. So that's the back. So yes. Oh, the, pi the, the pillow? Yeah, I did it maybe about three weeks ago. So simple. I mean, very simple. I used a little Christmas bag, like a little sack that I had. And then I had this fabric. And I just cut, tore strips. And I hand sewed it on and hand sewed this on so you can see the stitches. And then we just hot glued it together and I, it goes on my tiered tray. 
So cute. I made a bee one too in that video. So you get, there's two pillows in that video. And I stamped on the fabric just like that on the bee one. I put, it was a bee and I put bee kind. It was so cute. You have to go see that video. So it looks so cute. But there's all kinds of stuff, guys. Just think of how many colors you can do and make these out of all these different colors and do it different ways. Set it like this, or you can set it on your tiered tray or on your dough bowl or somewhere like that and do, you know, whatever you want to at Christmas. Can't y'all see a little Christmas wreath in the middle of that? Hang it, do it like this. Put a little Christmas wreath right here and then put like Merry Christmas. You could stamp Merry Christmas across a thing and put it at the bottom and put Merry Christmas. Y'all, there's so much you can do with this. It would be so adorable. And colors. And see, it looks like it was just made in there. You've been wanting a tobacco basket. And Cecilia, you can get the bigger canvases and then use like a... Let's see what I got. You can use um, paint sticks and get a bigger canvas and do it and see if that works. Try that. Play around with it. Um... So, you know, the, just the sky's the limit. So, it just looks really stinking cute. And I did do a, <clears throat> last year sometime, I did a tray where I sandwiched, I took two of these and I sandwiched beads all around the edges and put feet on it like a little tray and made the bottom solid. And it's adorable. It's in on my coffee bar right now, actually. But this would be cute in the bathroom. Put some little soaps in there or something. It's just cute. Hanging on the wall. Nancy, I'm going to post pictures of my tiered tray. I will. I'll post pictures. It's not too far down the videos list. Okay, thank you, Tammy. Oh, Sandy, thank you very much. Y'all are so sweet. But I, there was a laser file that I'm, I might cut. And it was this. It's like a basket. I have round ones, square ones, rectangle. And I was thinking about it last night, and I was like, you know, I could make that with something besides cutting it. And I show y'all how to make it for three bucks. Um, so, yeah, I just kind of dreamt this up today. It was kind of swirling around in my brain. The kind of things that roll around in my head when I'm supposed to be going to sleep or something like that. It just keeps me up at night. Yes, you could add shells to it. There's so much you can do to this to change it up. Put, you could change the handle, like somebody said, do little beads and do a beaded handle. And I probably will be doing one just like that uh, with the bead handle because it didn't even dawn on me. You could do like a piece, a little piece of leather, a fake leather, pleather as I call it, um, and do a little leather handle. You could put a handle up here, kind of like the little handle that we made um, for the shutter, the shutter we did with the little block and the block and we made a handle. You could do that. And I actually started to do that on the side and make the handle out of the little blocks and the popsicle stick. And I didn't. I didn't do that. I said I was going to do a rope handle. But there's so much you could do to this that would make it different. You could just leave the handles off altogether and have just that if you wanted to. And put a little scene in it or put a little clip you could put a clip up here and put a picture in it and make a stand for the back with some jingle blocks or something and make it like a little picture frame, a little farmhouse picture frame. There's so much y'all could do. Thank you, Lenora. You're so sweet. My mind just starts going and y'all, it, it won't shut off sometimes. I get all these my ideas and it just goes and goes and goes and goes. Um, chicken wire. Yes, you could put chicken wire in it. <laughs> probably see a picture of it tonight. Somebody's making one right now. I know it. Those pinwheels the other night, somebody popped those things up after I got off and I was like, on, they did it already. I can't wait to see y'all's in the group because I know y'all are going to be making them yellow and blue and red and all these cool colors. I try and just put stuff in it. Yes. Okay. Let me throw something else out at y'all. Okay. Because my brain is like on fire. Okay, so do the same thing with a bigger canvas, okay? Y'all with me? A bigger canvas, candlestick in the middle, and this be your top tier. 
and you have a have have a bigger one down here on the bottom and you have like let's see let's do this like that i know it's wopsided but a tear tray like this but with a bigger one on the bottom and a smaller one on the top <gasps> how cute y'all that would be so cute my brain's going <laughs> i know y'all can see the wheels turning because it, it's they're turning i'm like oh you can do this and you can do this oh thank you rhonda but just i mean sometimes it'll hit me like that and it'll just start rolling and i i can't help it oh wow somebody's somewhere all far they're 22 hours ahead of us or something is it your husband wakes you up soon and tells you that you're dreaming of crafting? Are you going, ow, I burned myself on the glue gun? <laughs> old cabinet handles, yes. You could do that too on here. Like little, and they sell the little bitty one, the little T90 ones, as I say, over in Hobby Lobby where all that um, scrapbook stuff is, where the Tim Holtz and all that stuff is. They have little bitty handles, the little bitty, you could do those. There's so much y'all could do. <clears throat> Kimberly is, I'm stuck. It's me, Lee. Help me, I'm stuck. What is she saying? Yeah, she'll have to watch it, Judy. It's, it's made out of Dollar Tree canvases and popsicle sticks. And it's a tobacco basket. How stinking cute. How to make the box. It's made of Dollar Tree canvases, the frame part. And then we use the craft sticks like this and did it like this and made them longer and then painted it up really cute like this. Terry, I can, and I have played with that idea about making tear trays, but here's the thing. When you buy wood, because my wood comes in four by eight sheets, big sheets, okay? So they fit, you know, they fit in the back of a truck, they're huge. Um, and my husband has to cut them down to like, I cut 24 by 24 because that's the comfortable size I can handle. Um, and when you go to Home Depot and they're in the store, they have metal beams that stick out like this. And the plywood is laying over those beams like this. So your wood's like this, okay? So to do it like I would want to do it, I would need my wood to be dead flat like no bowing no warping no nothing because you would hate to get a tiered tray and it go it'd be like this because the wood would just have a little curve to it and that would worry me because I would not want to send out a product like that that was not straight so I have toyed with it and I hadn't even made one I've designed one haven't made one um oh you're stuck on the weaving it's not weaving but anyway, so that's why I haven't done tear trays. But I have toyed with the idea. Chris, I'm going to try to make some more scissors probably this weekend and have them out next week. It's not weaving. You're not weaving. You're just putting these on first, and then you put these on second. So it's not weaving. We just crisscrossed them. That's it. It just looks like that. Yeah. So it's. The up and down ones first, and then I put these on. But we had to make these extensions. Where are they? Here they are. To make them longer. See? So it would look like one solid piece. Yes, Dar Darlene, they will. When their saw's not broken. <laughs> but my husband has a saw, and he has a method to it. Him and my boys. Because when I go and buy plywood, four by eight sheets, we buy like 30 at a time. Because uh, I go through some wood. Uh... Oh, Jeannie, you made a bunch of fabric flowers. I have two. I love that. Here's mine over here. And then my patriotic ones are on my patriotic tiered tray. So that's why I haven't made tiered trays. But I have, I have toyed around with that idea for sure. Yes, you could. You could use picture frames. You sure could. And actually, when I started this idea, I had two picture frames from the Dollar Tree. And then I thought, hmm. I'll use wood. I'll use the canvas frames. Yeah, there's no weaving in the back. They're just 
laid one laid this way and then these are laid this way and that's it but it looks like it from here oh tammy's made over a hundred flowers goodness gracious i know and i'm still seeing them and i love it because i love those flowers they just look happy twilight it just depends on what i'm cutting um the Glowforge, mm, let's see, it's a lot slower than my big laser. It's, my big laser can cut like four times as fast as the Glowforge can cut. So what, whatever I cut in my big machine, I can cut four in the time it takes the Glowforge to cut one. So it's, it's fast. But when you've got a whole sheet, a tw you know, 24 inch sheet of little bitty flip flops that's that big, and there's a I don't know, 40 on the sheet. It'll take a little while. You know, it's over and over and over. And I can't leave the machine. So when I cut, I have to stay right here. I can't leave the, you can't leave the machine because it can burn your house down um, or burn the building down or whatever because, you know, it's a laser. It's fire. Um, yes, they're craft sticks from Dollar Tree. But I am, I'm going to do a video one uh, soon. I've actually bought one of those neck things that holds a phone so y'all can see like point of view. And I'm going to take y'all from buying the wood to my husband cutting the wood to me putting it on the laser, putting the masking on it, getting it lined up, doing it on the computer, and actually the machine cutting. So y'all can kind of see what goes on. Because I know you're like, how does it work? How does it do? How does it fast is it? So, um... I am, uh, I'm, I got that in the works, so I did, I bought me one of those little, it's like a neck thing, and your camera hangs right here, where you can see, like, what I'm seeing, because it'd be hard, it's hard for me to show y'all what I'm doing, and not have both my hands. Lazy, would Lazy Susan at Dollar Store, can you come up with something? Okay, I'll have to look for those. I had them at Target Dollar Spot, and I didn't buy it the other day, dang it. Fabric clearance quarters for 25 cents. <gasps> As if I don't have enough fabric. I have a lot. <laughs> oh, you made the styrofoam. He thinks they're creepy. What? Susan, it should be coming the end of July. So, so yeah, I'll have two big ones and they go fast. And I have two glow forges. <laughs> Yes, I know y'all would love to see it. So I'm, that's why I got planning so y'all can kind of see what goes on in the process. Because it just doesn't go, and it's cut. It's, you know, it's a lot to it. But it's fun, and once you get it down pat, it's just, you know. So I stay in here all day and cut and cut and cut and cut. And I have it all stacked up and wrapped and all. Yeah, it's, it's a process. I gotta clean up this rat hole in here. Cause it's a hot mess and I know y'all want to see it. I've been telling y'all I'm going to show y'all <laughs> a tour of it, but oh, it stays a mess. And now this table <laughs> is a hot mess. Yes, I will. I'm going to post it. I'm going to have to make a video. I can just go live and show y'all one day. Yeah, I added the layers between, uh, added the handle between the layers. And then somebody said, oh, you could do beaded handle. And I'm like, dang, why didn't I think of that? like a big y'all you know, some of that sometimes that rope and stuff's got like bark and stuff in it y'all see that <laughs> I don't know what that is oh thank you Reed. I love chatting with y'all too because I don't get to chat with y'all a lot and some people say oh you talk too much you need to just craft and go on about it and I like to talk to y'all y'all are my people I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you so um yeah Debbie I know y'all want to see it and um just what, you know, what all goes into it. You know, I've showed y'all before. I have to clean them, and I have to clean the thing that it all sits on, and it's fun. Leanne's still making fabric flowers. I'll be making them for every holiday, I promise. Every season, I'll be making them. <sighs> I know, Wendy, but I feel like it needs to be clean because y'all be like, oh, my gosh. Well, it's just, it's not bad. But I'm kind of not OCD, but I'm OCD a little bit about it. 
Uh, we need to, I'll be cutting some more probably this coming week and uh, put those back up again. Because I know that's something y'all have been asking for was the gnome with the attachments in the farm. And right now, since I'm kind of in between uh, holiday stuff, I was trying to catch up on some of that stuff that y'all have been asking for. And so that's what I did. Um, yeah, Tammy, a notebook by the bed. Definitely. I put notes in my phone all the time when I come up with an idea or something. I'm like, oh. Um, <laughs> Rena, you're funny. Oh, Marsha, you're sweet. Y'all, I love talking to y'all. I do. I would talk to this little light right here if, if it acted like it was halfway interested, I promise. I've been that way my whole life. You always learn something in the chit chat. So yeah, I could I could talk to my. Who said that the, their flower was creepy? Oh, y'all wanted to see the little one I did. See, there's the first one I did practicing, and then this was the one I did for y'all. It was a little smaller. It's like mama and a baby. But yeah, I could just talk to this little flower all day. I told my husband I was gonna get me a beta fish and put in here so I could talk to it. <laughs> Oh, he yawned at the same time. I know, Dana. I like to craft and chat. Because I like to get to know y'all, too. Y'all know all about me. And I like to get to know y'all, too. Oh, it looks clean to you, Nancy, because you're only seeing this, this much of my craft space. Like, that much. That much. <laughs> there's, a, there's racks of stuff over here that's... People come in here and they go, dang, you been, you, you, you got some, a stash of stuff. And I'm like, yup. Oh no. She was put in jail tonight. What for? Like Facebook jail? Diane, yes. I did not design that gnome, but yes, I have had somebody ask me for baseball, football, and if you're on here tonight, I've not forgotten about it. Um, their husband actually messaged me and asked me about footballs and baseball. They haven't forgotten. Somebody wanted a watermelon or a popsicle or something. And I'm going to design some to go with him, hopefully. A Delta Beta named Otto. I've been wanting one, darling. There's a girl on TikTok that I follow. She raises them. And y'all, those beta fishes, fishes. Beta fish. <laughs> that did not come out right. Um, they are beautiful. I'm talking about, they're not the Petco beta fish. These things are like red, white, and blue and spotted and all kinds of stuff. And I'm just like in love with them. Wendy, I can clean mine and have a night like this. And then it just looks like something threw up in here. But when I work all week, I have, over on that side of the room is where my lasers are, and we have a pool table in the middle. Well, all I did was take a, well, it was a ping pong surface that goes on top of our pool table. So I told my husband, I said, let's leave the pool table in here. I'm going to put the ping pong surface on the top, and I have a tablecloth on top of that. So I have a huge work table because I pack, I ship. I have my computer, all my supplies that I use to do uh, labels and everything else um, on top of that pool table. So it's wonderful for a, a space where I can set all my stuff and spread everything out. So it worked out good, um, but it stays a hot mess. There's stuff piled on it right now. Because like when I come in, like if I go to Dollar Tree and come in, I throw it on that table. <laughs> and it sits there for a couple of days. A butterfly for the gnome. That would be cute. Yes. So, Marsha, if you, like, if y'all comment on, like, one of my posts, like, if I post something in the morning time and say, hey, good morning, whatever, and then 40 of y'all comment, if I go in there and like, love, whatever, to each one of y'all's comments, they will, they, they've done that to me before. So, like, after the live, if I get off and I start going through and looking at y'all's comments and, and replying back to them and, like on them and whatever, then um, they'll tell me I've done too much and I can't do it for two or three days. So I've been in that jail before. So um, 
Yeah, and you don't know how many is too many until you hit that number one, the last one, and they go, whoop, nope. So, um, so if y'all don't get upset if, like, y'all comment on something and I don't go back and, you know, respond or something, it's because I can't do too much in a certain amount of time. And who knows how long that time is. Um, I know, Wendy, it gets in a mess so fast because I have to pull stuff out. And then it's like, oh, I got it. And, and I, I'll get to a point in this room where I'm like, I'm not doing nothing else until I put stuff up where it goes. I cannot stand it. I have to put stuff back. That's why she thought she was. Okay. So, yeah, at least I have this table that I don't work on every day because I used to work on this table. And it's only like three by four. And then that one's huge. And I would have to, when I got ready to do my shipping, I'd have to move everything off and get all my stuff and pile stuff everywhere, envelopes, label, my label maker, all this stuff. And, but over there, I can just, I kind of keep my supplies in the middle and it's easier. So yeah, I just, I just craft over here. Although I craft over there some when I'm cutting on the laser, like I did yesterday, throw it under a bed. <laughs> Yes, Mandy, it, it's hard. I mean, so like when y'all respond to stuff that I post and that kind of stuff, that helps. It's kind of like you get the algorithm that Mandy just talked about on Facebook. It's all based on algorithms. <clears throat> so like when I post something in the morning, good morning or whatever, this is how I look at it. If you got a body of water like a lake, and here's the top of the water and this is the bottom. So you post something, you kinda, you kinda up here, maybe midway a little bit. And then somebody comments or says something or whatever. And then it kinda, you, it kinda makes you float, you know, in the stream a little bit. You kinda get up to the surface a little bit. And then when nothing happens for a long time, then you start coming back down. Does that make sense? And when you get down here, and they're not pushing you out your stuff to be seen to the people who, you know, are that, your page, then it's hard to get back off the bottom again. Does that make sense? It's just, <laughs> it's all a, it's an everyday thing. Teresa, I don't know. I don't, and I don't even know really what I did. Um, I think it was because I had a, that video that had a slideshow, and I think that's that's one of the things I can't, I'm not supposed to do, is that. So I think that's what happened. And, because they don't tell you what you did. They just say, oh, nope, we're taking that from you, sorry. And then you're like, well, I don't know. <laughs> Please tell me. <laughs> um. Yeah, but it's just all algorithms. So anytime you do that, and you and make sure y'all are doing that because that helps too, um, of course, but because um, they push you out more. Does that make sense? But live video is, is way up here. They want you to be live. I'm reading y'all's comments. Yeah, Renee, it's just, it's just, it's not, you know, used to, Facebook used to be where you flipped it on and you saw everything in chronological order. Like somebody posts something at eight o'clock in the morning and then somebody posts something at nine, at 10. You saw everything based on when in the day it was posted by all of your people. Well, it's not, um, it's not, like that anymore so somebody just said so they monitor everything you do oh yes ma'am 100 percent it's uh it's bots that do it it's ai that monitors all of this so we can't say the s-h-a-r-e word um because they want you to do it naturally yep tina i agree uh, Barb, it's just a, 
it was just a um, sublimation transfer and uh, my shirt girl, she did these in my shop and then she's not doing shirts anymore so I haven't done anything, any of that. Mar Marcia, my star, star thing, I got popped because I think it was because I did a video of a slideshow of images and that's, I'm not supposed to do that. <laughs> Kelly, you're sweet. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I know, Jerry. And, you know, when they, they tell you, you go read the rules and stuff, well, y'all can imagine it's pages and pages and pages of stuff. It's, it's a lot. Yeah, but it's their, it's their platform. Um, they're allowing me to be on here to talk to all of you. So, I have to follow their rules, and that's fine. I don't mind it, but it, it's like it would be better if I knew what I did. But Mark Zuckerberg is a smart man. <laughs> that's all I can say. Um, Sherry, I already made it. I made these little tobacco baskets out of... Um, out of Dollar Tree canvases and popsicle craft sticks. So that's what I made. Yep. Oh, Norma, this is what I made. And then I did this. I, I, I made this one today because I, I had to try out my idea. And then I made uh, this one live and everybody wanted me to paint it turquoise. So I did and I added some flowers. See the little handles in the middle? And I made, I put the little flowers and I stamped that little, that piece of canvas. <laughs> um, Nancy, I don't know. I don't, I don't know a lot of that, but they try to just keep it fair, I guess. Um, cause there's been some stuff that's gone on on live video across Facebook that's not been the best thing. <laughs> Y'all can go look that up bad stuff that has people have done live so they monitor everything which i don't blame them i would too oh you got the honeycomb ribbon yesterday i didn't see it today when i went but i'm gonna try to go to the big one tomorrow and i hope i get to you gotta go put your eye drops in cheryl okay night night <laughs> oh thank you Teresa. don't hate create so maybe I, I won't get in trouble for talking about it tonight. I hope not. Yes. And that's the thing, Diane. You know, people want to talk bad about social media, but it helps a lot of people. Because there's people that still aren't getting out and because they're, they're scared they'll get sick. And, you know, and I can come and talk to people like all of you who are in Maine and in California and Oregon and people that I wouldn't have otherwise met any other way but by this platform and I, and I love it so much, but people, you know, people are quick to say, Oh, you know, don't social media, blah, blah, blah. But we have friends all over the world because of this and it's wonderful. And I mean, I'm sitting in all of y'all's living rooms or your bedroom or your back porch or wherever you are. And I'm talking to every one of you and I can see all the comments and, um, that's right, Trish. And it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. And people say, oh, I'm going to get off because I see all this stuff in my news feed and stuff. And I'm like, all my news feed's crafting. I don't know what they're looking at. It's a happy world on my, in my news feed because it's all, it's all crafting. And so it's like, I don't, you know, I don't have a lot of bad stuff on mine. Oh, Deborah's recovered from back surgery. Well, I hope you get better quick. Yeah, Sherry, you'll have to replay and watch little tobacco baskets. Oh, thank you, Wendy. I'm blessed to have all of you. Because if, if it wasn't for all of y'all, I wouldn't be here. Um, well, Teresa, they've actually only been gone a little over a month. Like six weeks. Because they said I could do it. It was in May. So, June. And then I appealed it again. And they came back and said, nope. And so, I don't know. It'll be fine. If, if it doesn't come back, it's fine. Yeah, Diane, here's is all crafting too. Mine is. Tina, I did make a Halloween uh, tear tray last year. I did. 
Thank you, Nancy. Yes, if, if you got happy mail, send me your address. Oh, Debbie, you went to the Germantown store on Tuesday? I'm going tomorrow. I'll let you know if they have it, but I don't need it. I have enough ribbon as it is. Oh, Mary, you're sweet. Charisse, I'm probably going to hang out and eat and swim. I'm trying to get some sun this weekend. I haven't been out in the sun. And, you know, the tan fades really fast. Um, I'm going to try to get out in the sun and uh, get keep my tan. I know, Norma. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. And sometimes, like they said about Labrisca, sometimes you don't know, you know, what how many, you know, looking at comments and doing that little button, you don't know, how, you don't know, because I've done it too. Because I, I want all of y'all to know that I see your comments and I know that, you know, I want you to be acknowledged that I've read them and I see y'all and, you know what I'm saying? I'm not just posting and ghosting. I'm not doing that because I go and read every one. Now, on the lives after tonight, it'll be like 3,000 comments and it's really hard to do that. But like when I post stuff on my, you know, just everyday stuff, I go read every one of those and what y'all are doing and, you know, I do. I read all of that. They got Halloween out already out? Oh my gosh. Mine was putting out fall flowers today and I got these little dudes. Right here. They're so cute. They had like three different colors and I like this one. And I was going to put it in my little tobacco basket, but I just didn't think that would look really good with the blue. I think that yellow looks better. Um, but a Halloween already? Scissors. Yay. Hey, Sandra. Welcome. It's your first time here. Make sure you do that. And there is my number right there. You can text join to that number and it will, um, you'll be on my list of like when I go live, when my shop restock, shop restocks, <laughs> you'll be notified. And so if you want to, you can text join to that number on your texting app and you'll be on the list. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> Cooking and crafting. I hear you, Teresa. Yeah, welcome newbies. Yep, Vicky, they did. I did a good bit of the orders today. So, oh, y'all, I get sleepy. I stayed up too late last night. My brain was turning. I couldn't go to sleep. It's been a hot minute, maybe. <laughs> oh, thank you, Leslie. Yes, it, it has definitely kept me sane, too. Um, Cause I like to look at everybody's crafts and what everybody's doing and all those people are my friends and all the other creatives and stuff. And so I have to keep up with everybody. Scissors, Jerry, these scissors. They're not real scissors. Although today they were laying on the table and I was reaching to pick them up to cut something with and I crack myself up sometimes. I was like, oh my gosh, I am losing it. Sandy, I'm going to try to cut some this weekend. I'll have them next week. But if you get on the little text thing, you'll be notified when they get, um, um, when they get restocked, you'll get notified. So yeah, these are my scissors. I tried to, you know, they're not exactly the same. And those are just a smidge bigger. Um, but I had to think about my envelopes and shipping them and all that stuff to how big they were going to be. Oh, new granddaughter in three weeks. How sweet is that? Oh, Joan, you're jo Jonah. It's Jonah. Is it Jonna? It's Jonna. You're so sweet. I'm a dork like you, Nancy. I am. I'm a dork. I'm telling you, I'm a dork. The I am, I can be a dork, I promise. <laughs> Edward Scissorhands, yeah. Where's my bush? You know, he was all... I'm stupid. Ah! I've seen Edward Scissorhands more times than I would like to admit. Okay, 
I'm hearing the music in my head. <laughs> I know this. I don't know the stars. I'll get it back. Oh, a kidney stone. Bless your heart, Becky. Oh my gosh. Knock on wood, I've never had that, but I have x-rayed many of people that have had kidney stones and I know it hurts. I'm a dork. <laughs> yeah, I'm a dork. It's like Revenge of the Nerds. I'm a nerd. Now I'm telling my age now. That was a funny movie. Jeannie, if you have questions about crafting stuff, um, you can join the group, which is the Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal. And, um, if you have some kind of questions, there's almost 12,000 people in there and somebody will help you. I promise. Yeah. You ordered the scissors. We're all a little dorky. Yep. You just have to embrace the dorkiness. <laughs> like sealants difference in paints. Okay. I don't know what you mean, like sealing different things. Like, do I have to seal this or? There, Tammy posted the thing to the group right there. So if you want to join the group, you can. Twenty-two of them. Oh my goodness gracious! You was full of rocks, girl. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to hop off as much as I love talking to y'all. I'm getting tired, and I've got to clean up this mess a little bit. I can't leave my paintbrushes in my water. I'm trying to do better. And i got to go see what my family's doing. Can I pin the link to the group? Let's see. Let me go down here. Where is it? Okay. Lost my comments. My comments swiped. Did that work? Okay. I don't know if it worked. Look, see, somebody's going to help you, Jeannie. Look at there. Look at Mandy. Mandy used to work at Sherwin Williams. She knows all about that stuff. She'll help you. Awesome. You are so sweet, Mandy. No, I don't do pre-orders just because it be, would be really, really confusing. Um, but I'm going to hop off. There's a link to the group. I hope you can see it. And I will see y'all Monday night. Y'all have a happy 4th. Um, hope y'all's dogs do okay in the fireworks. Um, I, hate, I just hate that. Bless their hearts. And so, y'all have a happy 4th. Don't eat too much. And be safe. And I will see y'all Monday night. Okay? Happy 4th. See y'all later. Bye, guys.